there, you lot. I hope you're really, really well. And I've got five minutes going to spare, so I'm just going to have a speedy read. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to join in, very good. Because today's book is called Eleanor's Eyebrows. It's by Timothy Nutman. And David Tasman did the drawings. So here we go. Eleanor knew exactly what all the different bits of her face were for. Her eyes were for crossing. Her ears were for waggling. Her nose was for picking. Mm. And her tongue was for sticking out at people. Just like that. But what on earth is the point of eyebrows? Said Eleanor one day. They're just two silly, scruffy, hairy little bits of fluff. <gasps> now, Eleanor's eyebrows wouldn't stay where they weren't wanted. So that night, while Eleanor slept, they slid off her face and ventured out into the big wide world to find someone who would love them for what they were. There they go, they pack their bags. It's very sad, isn't it? And that's when they saw... Thank you. And that's when they saw a notice. Are you long, thin and hairy? Want to be more than just a silly, scruffy, hairy little bit of fluff? We can make you look beautiful. Come to the butterfly house at the zoo. Ooh. So the eyebrows made straight for the zoo, and in no time they were tucked up in the butterfly house. It was full of caterpillars who were fluffy and hairy too. Mm, look, there they are, they're having a nice cup of tea and a chin wag. He's eating a leaf, isn't he? The eyebrows didn't like the taste of leaves, and no matter how hard they worked at it, they just couldn't make cocoons. Oh, look at that, it's a right mess. They have tried, haven't they? But uh, it doesn't look as good as that one. So the eyebrows went looking for another home. They tried being a twirling moustache for a marvellous magician. Wow, but, let's see. <gasps> His tricks involved explosions. It was far too dangerous. <gasps> so, you can see they've gone, they've left. They tried being woolly hand warmers of the beautiful lady beetles who didn't want to catch cold. And false legs for a very large ant who liked pretending to be a spider. And tyres on a stick insect's motorbike. <sighs> Look at that, very cool. There we go, round, around, 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 very dizzy. Eleanor, meanwhile, had been merrily getting on with life. She hadn't missed her eyebrows one little bit until one day her granny came to visit. The old lady took one look at the empty space above Eleanor's eyes and screamed and ran a mile. Why, there she goes, as quick as she can. Is that all it is, said Eleanor, looking in the mirror. Well, I can easily draw some eyebrows on. But Eleanor wasn't very good at drawing. No matter how many times she tried, and look at this. We've got purple eyebrows. We've got, uh, well, one blue eyebrow, one red curly one. She's got a pen stuck up her nose. Oh dear. Yeah, it's, well, it must be very difficult. Because look at that. She's tried and tried, but she hasn't managed it, has she? So instead, she combed her hair forward but it just got in her eyes and made her bump into things. Then she tried balancing her pet mice on her face, but they just bit her and fell off. Suddenly, wherever Eleanor went, all she noticed were eyebrows. Squiggly eyebrows and fat eyebrows, sensible eyebrows and mad eyebrows. Eyebrows with shiny silver rings through them, eyebrows like flashes of lightning. Eyebrows that met in the middle and eyebrows that were so far apart they could almost be ear hair. She had never realised how wild and wonderful eyebrows were and how much she missed her own. Oh dear, she's starting to miss them. I'm so miserable without my lovely eyebrows, said Eleanor. I wish I could get them back, but how? And then she had a brilliant idea. She's there, she's got a paint pot. She said, are you long, thin and hair? Is that gonna be hairy? Maybe, let's see, let's see. Meanwhile, out in the big wide world, 
Eleanor's eyebrows had got a job as an exclamation mark on a very angry sign. Can you see what that says? It says, slow down! But it rained and they got washed off. Suddenly, the eyebrows felt cold and wet and a long, long way from home. And that's when they saw a notice. And look, that's what Eleanor was doing. She's written a big sign on this truck. And this is what it says. It says, are you long, thin and hairy? So much more than just a silly, scruffy, hairy little bit of fluff. A foolish girl misses you so. Please come back to Eleanor's house. You're beautiful. Oh, what a lovely sign. When Eleanor woke up the next morning, the space above her eyes felt itchy. What's gone wrong now, she wondered sadly. So she looked at her face in the mirror. And there! Right above her eyes were her eyebrows! And now Eleanor knew exactly what they were for, do you know? <laughs> Making her happy! Yeah! And look how happy she is. Oh, what a lovely big smile. And that's true, yeah, you do need your eyebrows. They're very useful. I like my eyebrows, they're quite hairy. But I'm going to have to make a move now. Because I've run out of time, I'm going to have to move on, and uh, I really hope to see you very soon. Okay, bye for now, bye 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 bye!